What is good? We're back. The week two edition. Married the game. <laughs> <laughs> Voice is a little raspy today. Trying to keep it together. We got a little buy, sell, hold for your pleasure. We're going to talk a little Jordan Mason, a little J.K. Dobbins, a little Michael Pittman, a little Sammy D. See if we get to anybody else. Say Flowers could be on the docket. Quentin Johnston. Let's go. Uh, but of course, I think we would be remiss if Jordan Mason didn't lead, lead this show off. Uh, he's earned that right. Uh, he's Balling. currently RB5. So, you know, and, and J.K. Dobbins, I believe, is currently RB3. So that was probably on your bingo ticket of how the running back breakdown would go and how your yeah. drafts played out. Totally nailed that one. Now, again, it's week two. This happens almost every year. It takes a minute for everything to kind of balance out and all, all, all to be right in the world. Now there will be some risers and there will be some fallers, but a lot of the things that you were excited about will eventually come around for the most part or things that you thought you could count on and be guaranteed. You know, some slow starts happen. People are figuring out we're rusty. Uh, no preseason. Defenses are, are a little better than offenses right now. So I think all of that will kind of come around the running back might be making a little comeback for mm. your pleasure here. Running game in general. Yeah. Let's lead it off with Jordan Mason, currently your RB5. He's 25 years old, mm. uh, so not a not a young buck. He's a Gemini, so hopefully <laughs> he can find himself a good Sagittarius or Leo or Aries, obviously, because those are recognized as many in the community as soulmates for the Geminis, in case, in case you didn't know that. Mason has received 20-plus carries in his first two contests, finding the end zone in both. Only one reception in each, so that's, you know, you don't love that. You'd like to see a little bit more active hands in the receiving game. I think the Niners need to adjust to that a little bit. Like, he's capable of of being a pass catcher. Uh, and then a career average of over five yards per attempt. He's over that threshold uh, this year as well. Threshold drink. But by far and away, uh, the most questions we have gotten is, is Jordan Mason. So we figured he could lead the buy, sell, hold here. And he it's a tough one. It's one of the toughest values that you can evaluations of, of what to do and what and how you should go about it in all of the land right now, right? And we're talking dynasty, of course, but this some of this could apply to redraft. And I think you'd probably have a little bit different, you know, view on it in redraft. You know, I don't know how how much you're racing to sell Jordan Mason unless you can get something awesome for him. It's odd because and it's it's circumstantial as as much of all of this essentially should be every everything doesn't exist in in one universe everybody's got a little bit of something different everybody's got problems all mm -hmm. right uh just people have different problems right if i have cmc and i'm and i'm a good team and i had jordan mason and he's free then i you know uh, there's i have certainly have a decent amount of jordan mason and there's there's a reasonable amount of it that i'm i'm riding the wave I'm taking the points right there are circumstances where you just found money and you should absolutely be trying to get as much as you can for that money. Is it a first? I don't know if, if you're going to quite get there. He'd add something to it. Now we have some Dynasty Daddy trades we'll bring up in just a second um, and, and discuss. Bring them up now. Or they can be on the screen for your pleasure. Make if sure you're watching on the YouTube channel. If you're channel. watching on the YouTubes. But I've tried to buy them in some spots where I have CMC for, for a second and, and got turned down. And, and, you know, I can understand that on one hand, but... You know, it's week two. You don't really know how good of your team is. If, if if you're competitive and you think you have a top four team and and you had CMC, maybe, maybe, maybe I could see a first being given out for Mason because the production's going to be good. He's, you know, he, he's going to be the guy that gets it, but it still seems pretty egregious. A two seems properly kind of rated there. Maybe a two and a three if, you know, if I'm... Squeeze it. If I, if squeeze I could squeeze extra. it. Get the one, give the two back, maybe there. Uh, maybe if if if, if you have him. again, if you have a good team and you have CMC, whereas that way, if CMC comes back, you do still you you got all the options now covered, right? You know, the I don't want to give up the one really. The though. big no, me neither. I think it's a little crazy to try and get the one and give the two back um, if you're selling him. But yeah, it's it's interesting because you know he is 25, so 
he's probably not going to be a 49er forever and CMC's paid and not that old. He's not done by any means. He'll be back. He's the main, you know, he's the fucking man. And so you're really just getting this little life of Jordan Mason right now that you can plug. And I got several teams that I didn't even think about trading him. Mm -hmm. I just want to plug him. Super excited to plug him. So I'm competing and they're deep rosters. They're expensive leagues. So I want those points. I didn't even consider it. Other leagues, he's got to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I got several teams where I'm middle of the pack because I'm either rebuilding or I'm on the way to rebuilding or I inherited the team and, and, you know, or just, you know, neglected rosters because that will mm-hmm. happen and, and yes that there there i am i'm sexually active like <laughs> like a retirement community over here you know <laughs> pineapples are out so uh, it makes it taste better no no that's that's how that's the that's the sign oh. throw the pineapple out visitors welcome oh i <laughs> thought it was just to make it taste better yeah that's that's for the young women uh, <laughs> i thought it was for the dudes too well i mean i'm not <laughs> Sure. I mean, whatever, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Pineapple. Yeah. Um, no. So this, this is, this is a difficult one to, to evaluate. And I, I could see both sides of the fence here. I'm really only making the trade if I have the CMC, uh, because then if I, if he Acquiring, does come back in, yeah. in eight weeks, six weeks, whatever number you want to put in there. Now there is a story to tell that if, if McCaffrey comes back and the eight and the Achilles tears, this is a, it's a great pickup for you. But you know, if we're playing the odds here, and we've been at this long enough that you know that you should probably almost in all cases just go ahead and, and get out. what you can for yeah. this found money that you have and get rewarded for hey this is a deeper roster i kept i keep elijah mitchell and jordan mason on every i'm a niners guy first of all and whenever i've seen these guys in action they've both been good and it's a great offense to have a part yeah. of the backfield of. anybody so, getting the rock in a kyle shanahan offense right. Got to get, you know, same thing with LaFleur's offense and right. Daniel's offense. I want all those running backs. Right. Uh, you know, grab grab the, the the backups in those situations on deeper rosters. Uh, but it's it's definitely a tricky situation. So let's get to some actual trades that have gone down. These these are one day worth of trades here. Um, these, these are all semi-relevant. A lot of uh, multiple ones and two quarterbacks for two twos for Mason. So, hey, I could I could... You know, I could see that. Sure, I could. I, I could be okay with that if, I, if I'm the CMC owner. I don't want to pay owner. the two twos. I want to get the two twos. If I'm the CMC owner and I got a good team, we got an FFPC team that's good. And CMC went down. We're not super deep because it's FFPC. We're not running back heavy, and it's you know, it's it's it sucks. Like you're the thing is, is you're not going to trade a two and get any other really good running back, right? Mm-hmm. Like nobody's giving you the two for anybody that's worth. A damn, you, you got to kind of go out on a limb a little bit, on yeah. the ledge a little bit, to get somebody uh, who's either underperforming right now or older, or you think is about to, you know, really grab a hold of. Like you know, for instance, you could probably get Tajay Spears for two. I know he might have just got a little injured, but like he could be somebody who could easily pay off that too. Maybe Chase Brown right now might be an overpay for it too, but you know, Moss not being efficient, essentially the running game's not working and. Maybe you start to see a shift right now. It's like 75, 25, but you could see a shift. So maybe that maybe, but you're not getting anybody that you want to throw in your thing right now for Jordan. So I get it. The two twos there, that, that, that seems fair on, on both sides, a two and a three, the first there for Godwin and Mason. I had that one down. That's an interesting one. Oh, I'd pay the first for Godwin and Mason all day. That's, yeah. that's stealing right there. Yeah, you'd pay two quarterback, full PPR. Godwin's murking right now. Godwin's great. Godwin's and that's going to be a later two because obviously you want these points and you're competing. And Later first. Right, later first. I mean, you I'd would, probably pay a one for Godwin straight up. You're going to give me Jordan Mason too? I mean, the price two, to two weeks ago on Godwin was somewhere around a two. So, you know, now all, you know you got two weeks of production. You know, it sucks to overpay for two good games when, you, you know, it might balance back out between – those three guys that are over there, Kate Otten's playing a lot of snaps. Uh, McMillan's playing a lot of snaps. Uh, but but Baker's looking good. But mainly I want to go ahead and look at the value here. But, you know, I think for the most part, it's a hold and a sell. I'm not doing a terrible amount of buying uh, for Jordan Mason, as, as you've said. You know, like I said, I saw a lot of twos out there. I saw some multiple twos out there. A lot of just second round straight up. And when I cycled yeah, through all I these give picks, the two if I got CMC for sure, I'm very comfortable with that. And, and like I said, you could squeeze the three. That, that would kind of be the price tag. Um, I saw Sam Darnold and a first or Sam Darnold and Mason for a first two quarterback, two, t- two uh, point tight end premium. 
you know, that, that one seems a little bit more risque for my taste, but you know, some, if you're down to pay the first and, and you got a wagon of a team, it's hard. You could say you got such a good team week two. Right. We're in week two. It's Dude. really, it's so hard to tell, well, you know, and how many players have gone down. Right, that's now. what I'm I mean, saying. Jesus. Like it's just, just a, a domino there. Mm -hmm. uh, but Jamison Williams, Mason and a two. You know, I'll, I'll, I'd love to get that return for my Mason, right? Sure. I don't hate that. Get Jameson. And some people maybe are going the other way. Oh, I'd love to get that too in Mason right now for I, I, Jameson Williams isn't going to keep up. <laughs> uh, Ray Davis in a third for Mason. I want more. That one might be a little light for me, but yeah. if, you, if you're believing in Ray, uh, which, you know, had, had a good week too. Benson for Mason was one that I saw uh, that I thought was interesting. Probably a good deal. Yeah. Take the Benson side. Take what, the money. What about Jalen Wright? You asked me that earlier. Jalen Wright for Mason. That uh -huh. was that was kind of a, an interesting one. I, it seems like you should probably take Jalen Wright. It's it's not sexy right now. Jalen Wright's not scoring. If if you're in a position where you need the, the Mason points, then you can't do that. That puts you in a really bad spot. You're obviously rebuilding. Right. But that that's that's the kind of moves that you know you could well, probably even, price gone down might, a little bit here. Right. You might be able so. to get Jalen Wright and a second or Jalen Wright and a third, you know. So there, there's a bunch of options out there. Keon Coleman for Mason seems like a probably sure. good, good, nice swap there. So there's some decent options out there for the Mason price tag. For the, for the exercise here, we gave you kind of all the options. Not doing a ton of buying, mostly uh, the hold and the sell here for Mason for me. Agreed. Uh, so there's, there's a, a good amount of options. Let's keep it moving here. Let's go J.K. Dobbins. Hey guys, a quick reminder to head over to patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty to sign up for a free membership to get access to the free Discord channel. Or hit your boys with the $5 holler and get access to extra shows, mock drafts, roster reviews, ADP, and player pages. All for your pleasure. So let's keep it moving here. Let's go J.K. Dobbins. Uh, RB3 right now. Uh, and, you know, J.K. Dobbins is interesting because, you know, you're on the Chargers. You kind of know what they want to do. He's he's come out. He's, he's put together two nice performances. His Y.O.E. must be yards over expected, must be fantasy points over expected, must be through the roof. Right. Uh, but, you know, when you go over to a website like Fantasy Points Data and, and you check out the usages, uh, we, we're using that. It's a, it's a very good website. They got a lot of good information. But you can see here, J.K. Dobbins is, is receiving 52.9% of the snap share, and Gus Edwards is at 45.4% of the snap share. I would expect that number to increase even a little more as things goes on because J.K. is very efficient. Now, this is a guy coming back from an injury, so I, I'm okay with that staying where it is and J.K. being you know the way more efficient with what's going on with his touches right now. I would now. say electric. And in the passing down Look roles. Look at the fantasy point disparity, though. Right. They're getting the same amount of shit, but he's got 43 points to 9.7 for Gus Edwards. In the that passing down roles, right. In the passing down roles, you're seeing a 68% snap uh, percentage to a 30% snap percentage there. Inside the five, you're seeing a 100% snap percentage for J.K. Dobbins. Now, it's a small sample size. Inside the 10, 85 to 14. And then inside the 20, you know, which you don't expect, you would expect those numbers for a Gus Edwards to be flipped, mm -hmm. right? Because that's kind of where Gus, the Gus bus is, what he do is, uh, you know, putting people down. Uh, but then you see the fantasy points of despair. He, obviously, J.K. Dobbins is carving out a role here and awesome for J.K. Dobbins, man. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. If you've been holding J.K. Dobbins, this is. This is your time to shine. Uh, maybe that rebuild already came back around because you've been holding them for so long. Right. Uh, we got a bunch of trades up here. For me, this is, I, you know, I, I this is a either either depending on where your team is. Right. Um, this is a sell, of course, if you're if you're the rebuilder, and and I, you know, I think some people. If you get another week or two of production from them, there's going to be a decent amount of buyers probably lining up because there's not going to be, at, you know, there's going to be injuries and, and, and some productivity that you haven't gotten from some guys and some people panicking and being like, oh, I can get J.K. Dobbins. We know the Chargers want to run the ball. I trust Harbaugh. Um, they got a good quarterback. Their defense should be good. This is the script they want to be in. Now, they're not going to be able to be in that script every single game, uh, but Dobbins being on the field in the passing down situations, also good, right? Uh, so that, that, that could potentially give you some comfort there if you can start picking up some cheap catches when the, when the script is flipped uh, on, on the game there. 
Damn, so we got two firsts for Dobbins. Yes, yeah, so some you know you go on here and, and you do have a bunch to, of twos. You have to sort through some trades because there's always a, that that one trade that pops up in your league and you're like, damn, what you couldn't have sent me something, right? Um, there's so, three trades with just a single two going on right from so today, and then I, another trade with two firsts. I have marked down multiple twos, like multiple trades for a two for Dobbins right. there. So that that's um, giving you a baseline value there, and. You know, if I'm the owner, if it's a rebuild, I guess maybe I sell for that. But I, I'm going to probably like I like this situation. It's, it's different from the Mason situation because there is no incumbent great RB. Still there, only 25. Right? How's that possible? He seems That's, way older than that. Yeah. I mean, he's got the knee of a 35 year old. That's but, true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, he doesn't look like it, though. Needs to, needs, needs to take a trip down to Germany or he South must already American. have. What'd you say? He's oh, we said that on the on the Patreon show, uh, which we're going live every Sunday, uh, every Sunday night. Uh, extra show on the Patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty. Head over to the Pleasure Chest. He said uh, he's probably going to get drug tested here. Uh, yeah, like there's probably a peak up in his locker right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two weeks of performances off of uh, some some terrible injuries. Two what years has been in enhancing row? your performance right. so much, J.K. Cialis. <laughs> um Hims. So some other interesting ones here. Hims, give us a shout. We can promote this. Um, Benson, I have an erection right now. This show brought to you by <laughs> Underdog Fantasy, a new sponsor. Come check them out. Go promo code FFD at checkout. Get yourself a bonus match uh, for your deposit over there. Good thing this table's here, you know. Great stuff from Underdog. Pick'ems are a whole lot of fun. You can, play, you can still play best ball. So make sure you go check out Underdog. Use promo code FFD. Help your boys out. Help yourself out. Get, you, get yourself a little something on checkout. J.K. Dobbins, like you said, multiple twos. I saw a 25 first in, in some cases. Obviously, you saw the multiple first. If I could get a first for Dobbins. I'll add something to it. Yeah, let me get the first. I would I would love that. Now, if you're trying to win and you're competing and you get, all of a sudden you got this gold league right. wiener. But can he stay healthy? I, I, should you just cash out? I, I may try to grab that first even if I am a league winner and, 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 and then go Go grab something, not because I don't like Dobbins, just because it's just there's a lot of hesitancy. Some risk. Right. A lot of hesitancy there for the longevity of this season, uh, which is why I'm okay with Gus being in the mix here. J.K. Dobbins, Drake in a 25-2 for Ayuk in a first. You didn't filter on the four assets there. I think I have five on. Oh. So say that again. J.K. Dobbins, Drake London, and a 25 second for Ayuk and a first. I mean, I kind of like Drake a little more than I like Ayuk. And the first is is better than the second, so yeah, that's two quarterback half point PPR. Yeah, I'd be on the Dobbins side there, I guess. Yeah, I think so too. But for me, some some selling, I could see a slight buy, mostly a hold and a sell on this one. I think for me, as well, just like the Jordan Mason side of things, Brian Thomas or Scary Terry and J JK. That's a good rebuilder trade right there. Mm -hmm. Javon Baker and a two for J.K. Obviously, we haven't seen anything out of Javon Baker yet. They've, they've had him inactive and, and on the field a little bit in this last one. That could be okay. I like this. There was a Jalen McMillan and a 25 second and two quarterback tight end premium. I don't mind that. Like I, th those, those, those are like yeah, give deals. The guy that's playing a bunch of snaps. Well, and, and you're, you're Let me also get something on top of that too. Right. And, and we'll and debate on what that some, could be. Something fun, right? right? The McMillan's fun to me. I like McMillan. If you like Baker, you, you take the, you know. Um, Baker's not playing very much. At all, no, but McMillan's playing a ton. Yeah. And maybe you're saying, oh, way too cheap. But like at the end of the day, you've been holding this bag on Dobbins for so long. And and again, redraft. You're just, I'm riding. riding this, I'm out. riding this bullet train unless you can give me something better. In redraft, I'm always trying to take two pieces and go right. get one phenomenal piece. Right. So if you can pair Dobbins up with, you know, Jordan Mason and go get. Brace or, you know, obviously. Probably yeah, like be this was a Benson and a, and a two for Dobbins. Like we sure. just talked about that with yeah. Mason. Like those are the kind of deals I yeah. might be trying to facilitate. Hey, especially if I'm on the rebuilder side, I'm getting a, a, a two be determined, a player that can really escalate. And I'm getting the a pick as well. That really, really does a lot for me. That's I'm always scrounging around for those little practice squad players that I, that I like or, uh, you know, Wicks would have been somebody last year that I was trying to get on. A, you know what I mean? Romeo Dubs, a two and a three for J.K. Dobbins. I mean, some people aren't loving Dubs, playing a lot of snaps, looking good out there, oh, I think. Yeah. Got Obviously, we dubs. have a little bit of a quarterback situation. Hopefully, the, the knee injury doesn't linger uh, for well, they love. They didn't IR him. They didn't. 
but I almost kind of wish you would have. Yeah. And just get them right. Yeah. I said it letting it linger all year. So lot that's kind of the, where the value stands on Dobbins. I think we're mostly on on the sell and hold side of, of Dobbins as well. All right, let's keep it moving. Uh, let's go. Let's go, Sam Darnold. Whew, there it goes. Voices in shambles right now. Uh, let's go, Sammy D. Right before we started this, we got a Patreon question about Sam Darnold. If you should trade him for Terry, scary Terry, and 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 I, you know, he said it's got to be a smash accept. And I was like, man, two weeks ago that would have been a smash accept for me, but all of a sudden, Sam Darnold's playing some decent ball, right? I mean, dude, I've, he's playing phenomenal ball. Yeah, rock solid ball strong i mean they just beat the niners and like they, that third and eight down where yeah, he doesn't have justin jefferson doesn't have addison throw, nailer like just, in the seam and, and kind of threw him down under pressure just you know and he pointed at the receiver like he, like he did a good job but that was just a f- great throw uh, playing well under pressure i don't know if it's the system it's got to be some of that the coach well, so is phenomenal but it's a great si- situation Weapons everywhere. It doesn't even have Hawkinson out there. Addison missed time. Jefferson was Addison and Hawk are missing time. Right. You're, Justin Jefferson was outstanding in that game, but then goes out and, and you finish the game with Naylor on a, on a big mm-hmm. uh, completion. Converge. Yeah, I mean, the, he's probably he's not. This isn't his team, right? McCarthy is is. This. You wouldn't think long term, but I mean, if you put together a really good season, you put the you put the Vikings in a difficult position, right? True. And they could sell. I guess they could trade McCarthy, but he, most likely he's not a Viking. But most likely he gets another shot. Most likely for somewhere the, else, right? Most likely for the team, the best option is going with, with the rookie. To, to right. if you feel good about him, and I don't know how much you've been able to see of him now. Whether um, the moving right. to another team is good for Donald, maybe not. But then you could get out then. Right. So that's a good point. Is let you know. Let's say somebody like that plays themselves out of uh, top five draft pick right now that you thought might get one um, Raiders you know Raiders uh, Patriots they're not going to take a quarterback but teams like that that you thought were bad and were bad I, I heard somebody on the radio today talking about you know like a gap year for a team right you know you're mm-hmm. you, you know you're not you're, you're better than you thought you were but you and you're not getting the top five pick but Sam Darnold if he comes and has a good season like what a fit for the Raiders that could be if you're out of contention for for quarterbacks and, and they need one and, and maybe Garner is they say hey we're going to roll this Dice again um, with him, who's who's also playing very well. But a good point of you could you can cash out now and you can get what you can get for Sam Darnold. Or I think as long as it does, the wheels don't fall off, which there's going to be plenty of people just waiting mm-hmm. for that to happen. And, and yeah, because they do not like Darnold because they don't because they were out two years. You know, they had to make that declaration right as he was leaving the Jets that he was never ever ever going to be good, uh, which you know is is a silly way to play this game. But a lot of people do it. Uh, so instead, you just take Darnold and you stash him away and just see what happens. If somebody's going to disregard him. Always looking him. for that next Fitz, Fitzpatrick, you know, right. the bridge quarterback that just crushes in your lineup. Or, I mean, there's I'm looking for the next Geno Smith. I'm looking mm-hmm. for, you know, there, there's there's been some, you know, resurrections, you know, that, that, have, that have been half decent here over the last few years. Uh, you know, nobody wanted Jared Goff. Everyone, Jared Goff was dead. Mm-hmm. Um, now, Jared Goff not playing super well. Baker Mayfield. Uh, you know, not playing super well. Derek Carr was awful, and t- now two two games in, looking really good, right? So it can happen. And now none of those guys, maybe outside of, well, I guess Geno and Baker were kind of in the same situation as Darnold. Went. Not quite. Geno Baker was the first overall pick. Yeah, I mean Geno was. I guess he Second, was supposed he to go in the set, first. Yeah, right? he was sat in that green room yeah. all night long. But then he got punched in the jaw. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, so we've seen it a little bit. Minshew's kind of floating around, uh, valuable. So Sam goes to the Niners, gets some love, went to a good system over here. The system's good. And then, like you said, the value resurrection of next year, getting another chance somewhere, which it seems likely if he keeps playing the way he does, that the value will rebound. So I don't feel quite as strongly as as having to quick sell Sam Darnold as I once did. Um, He is ninth in yards this season uh, his completion percentage uh, is 72.011th overall. His yards per attempt are 9.52, which is pretty decent. That's good for third overall. Uh, so putting up some some pretty good stats there. His uh, his A dot is isn't awful at 7.9. Uh, deep throw percentage a little low there with with 10%. Uh, but he's he's working it, and like you said, not hasn't. You know, had an injured Addison game one, misses game two, playing with without Jefferson to end that game and, and puts together a nice 
you know, game ceiling drive when they needed to have it. Completions percentage over expected based on depth of throw. He is 10th there. So he's he's kind of coming in in that 10th range in a lot of things. His adjusted completion percentage, I believe he's at in 12th overall. He's just having a nice season here, and he's kind of doing it without everything. Now, the offensive line needs to stay healthy. I think that's a big part of him, but he's probably more athletic than you think. So let's look at some Sam D values here. I, and again, I would have immediately uh, coming into the season said this is for sure a sell right now but there's guys who just lost to uh there's, there's yeah there's guys who uh maybe drafted someone and aren't aren't pleased with the production that they're getting right now i'd trade the two for darnold for sure that someone got him for a three there yeah that's crazy that's one qb though it might be I don't why know. are you trading for sam darnold one qb league yeah maybe I'm you had set. maybe you had Tua. Yeah, um, maybe, I guess that's a pretty cheap acquisition. There, you throw, get some points for a third. That's yeah. not bad actually. Uh, Sam Sam Darnold a two, a three, and a three for a twenty five first. So throwing things together to uh, get that first, get the first. Sam, I'm Darnold. cool turning Sam Darnold into a first if I got to add something to that. You know, yeah. to ship him out. There's some there's some pretty cheap Darnold in there. Darnold Jordan Mason for a first. I don't mind that at all. You're finding what combinations to, to turn that in there. Stafford for Darnold. You know, I don't. I guess I don't hate that. I mean, Stafford's just depleted all of a sudden yeah, with all he's of lost his weapons. Two weapons already. Ridiculous. I got Dobbins and Eckler for Schoonmaker and Sammy D. That's two QB. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then, yeah, I mean, that, that's, a, that's basically Sam Darnold. Schoonmaker just had an okay game for Dallas there for Dobbins. So Sam D or Dobbins. And you get Eckler as a little bonus. So, you know, I don't mind that. And then here's some straight ups. Godwin for Sam Darnold. Take Godwin. Yes, please. A.D. Mitchell for Sam Darnold. So second round pick from last year. Not quite as fun. I need a quarterback. I'm fine with that. B-Rob, Sam Darnold. I could take Darnold. I think I'll take Sam. I think I might take B-Rob there. I mean, he was almost I on this list here. I can't give him enough respect. Yeah. It's my fault. And then Ramondre for Sam Darnold. I think I got to take Ramondre. Now this is all two quarterbacks. You need that quarterback. You do need the quarterback. He's be an awesome and third. Ramondre and he's could very easily be dead right now, but instead he's hot instead he's fire. slaying. Yeah, perfect fit for what they're doing. Yeah, well, how incredible is that? Never saw. I've, I've been getting beat by fucking Ramondre Stevenson every like <laughs> both these weeks. He just yeah. Why I'm looking at the pre you know pre matchup being like oh he's got fucking Ramondre oh, I'm, right. I'm good and then no nah, Ramondre losing Ramondre is doing some doing some work so there the value is a little all over the place for Sam D some people are in some people are out but there's some some you could conjure up some decent trades in that Terry for uh Sam you know right now the the deep ball anything besides passes around the line of scrimmage for the commanders are, are tough sledding now will that get fixed down the road probably so but like I said, to start this whole thing off, I would have smash accepted Terry McLaurin for Sam Darnold before the season started, and now I've now I don't have an answer for. It. I don't have a great answer for you. Terry's it's, it so feels, old. Feels like Sam Darnold that I got to keep Sam Darnold there. Mm -hmm. You know, if I I'd buy for the second round pick if I need a quarterback, mm -hmm. I'd sell for anything maybe greater than that, right? And a good player that I value a little higher than that, Pickens right. and a twenty seven first or a twenty seven first and Sam Darnold for Pickens. Uh, it's hard to put the value on the 27 first, I know. so I don't even care. Like, How about yeah, a 26 think, 2? <laughs> How about a 26 2? Yeah. 26 2 and Sam D for Pickens. I'll do Pickens. Yeah. I'll do Pickens. All right. Stop well, yeah. trading 27 yeah. picks. I mean, if you fully pay for it, you I guess so. You paid for 25, 26, and 27. Okay, yeah. well, who's, who's doing so, that? Somebody hit us up on so Twitter after, really after we had that last show with Big Co, and we were appalled yeah. about being able to trade 27. It's like, look, if you, if you pay for it, fine. All right. Let's keep it moving. Yeah. How much time we got? How much uh, time we got? <laughs> How much time you got, buddy? Let's uh let's hit let's hit Pittman for sure before we uh get on out of here. All right. All right, this one's interesting, right? Buy, sell, hold. I want to throw him on here. I could have had him on a buy low section or a moves to make here, but yeah. Uh Pittman twenty six has had elite production, is a go to guy. He's a leading man in a film. Um <laughs> Is he an A <laughs> role? Yeah, he's, uh, maybe not. But we have we have a bit of a you know quarterback. He's no Meryl Streep. No, no. <laughs> I mean he can't transcend. Yeah. Uh, but I, Devil Wears Prada's on. I'm watching it, dude. Like almost any Meryl. How she looks so good being so, and she doesn't look 
manipulated in yeah. the face, like yeah. all these other. She's like, uh, I mean, obviously Meryl Streep had her, but what's his, what's his, what's the, uh, they got a movie together. Alec Baldwin? No. Alec Baldwin's in the, in the movie that they have together. Yeah. The, where they're, uh, Steve Martin. Oh. Steve yeah, Martin, Alec Baldwin. That's what I'm I yeah. forget what that movie's called. Something about the breakup or getting back together. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't remember, but. They hadn't smoked weed since like yeah, the yeah, 1970s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Steve, somebody was like, Steve Martin's like 78 today. And they're like, I thought Steve Martin was 78 and 74. <laughs> <laughs> he's had white hair forever. He's, he's, yeah. Looks great, though. Oh, yeah. Looks great. All right. Pittman. You got to be slightly concerned with Pittman. He's hard, probably going to be hard to even start for you next year. Chicago, Pittsburgh, next, next two games. Yeah. Chicago's defense, very good. Pittsburgh defense, very good. Even Jacksonville defense on that next game. And then Tennessee defense, both playing really well right Miami now. Miami has Ramsey. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, they have Ramsey. Miami's in Houston uh, was in real shambles. good. Yeah, so Green Bay's playing pretty tough, good. Tough sledding there, potentially. Rookie um, quarterback, basically. Basically, the rookie quarterback who's certainly not able to take the easy things right now at a consistent basis. Um, I do think you'll see some growth. Those two things are, are not mutually exclusive that Anthony Richardson can score fantasy points and not be a productive actually on the field quarterback that can get it done for you. I thought it would be a little better for Pittman. Now, the target share is very good uh, still for Michael Pittman there. I believe it's 27%. I don't have it written down in front of me. I can pull it out. I but, mean, up. But still really high. Uh, he's at seven more targets in this game. Just, you know, wasn't quite there. Didn't quite work out for him. I would probably let him ride the bench in the next game and just kind of see how that takes you. Now, obviously, that, that's a player that you were counting on to have a good PPR floor. He ranks ninth with 28.3% target share. Right. Pretty so good. it's there. You just We got we to gotta get some easy underneath things. Uh, and he, he's never been a huge TD scorer, which I think can be overridden at any time. Uh, that's not something that I, I don't think is a problem for him. Uh, but it certainly is on a little bit of shaky ground. I would say Pittman probably a buy for me Got because it. I believe in the talent and the player and their and Steichen and the system and Anthony Richardson can figure this out. That the the clay and the tools I think can all be molded uh, to get this done. Richardson, uh, like you said, essentially a rookie here. The wows are wows and the oh my gods are oh my gods. Uh, you know. <laughs> This, this which is, one's which? You know, you had this with Justin Fields for a while. You, you get so long, and then you kind of got to move on and see if somebody else can do something with that. Um, and, and, you know, Fields had his, had his good times and his bad times, but can you win consistently with that play? I don't know that you can now. Pittsburgh's set up in a different situation a little bit with Fields there. But that's just kind of the example that I could see the path of, of Jaden Daniels and guys like Anthony Richardson kind of going down hopefully you see grows and leaps and bounds from games to games more completions in this game but definitely didn't play as well or definitely didn't play good still anthony richardson so a little concerned there but all right let's go to Pittman here i think i would i would go by uh Pittman or addison I mean, you gotta go Pittman. feels like a Pittman there Pittman or pollard seems like you gotta go Pitt Pittman there all day there's a Pittman or singletary here that's a Pittman. Pittman, Pittman or debo Pittman. gotta go Pittman. obviously debo just got hurt Pittman or a, and a twenty five first for Puka. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that Puka. Get Puka. Yeah. Take that Puka. I'll get some Puka. Yeah. If you can throw something together like eighty Mitchell Curtis Samuel in the third, a twenty seven third. Get get Pittman. Right. Oh, for sure. That's a terrible trade. The the Pittman in a first for Rashi Rice and Nuke has has Rashi ascended so high. It seems right, right now. First right now you got to add a first to, to Pitt Pittman to get Rashi. Rashi Rice is what you want out of Pittman. You know. Uh, and that's what you want. You want you want what Rashi Rice is doing. Oh, he Just can't volume and, and you know he's not some that deep shots same here and there after the catch, and he's not in the same offense. You can't get Rice. I'm out just of lead, the kind of the leading man. A lot of volume, manufactured stuff, some underneath, and then you know Pittman can get you a shot here or there down the field, get you a big gainer. You know Pittman in a first right now that that looks like a really really good trade to, to pick up Rashi Rice and you could throw Rice right in there and you're kind of getting bonus Hopkins who yeah um, coming good time back to buy Hopkins right coming now. back from an injury he's old but you know by, Ridley out there looking like Hopkins. by the time a middle of the season rolls around Hopkins could be you know he was good last year mm -hmm. Nuke was mm -hmm. um, so by the time middle of the season rolls around Nuke gets healthy that could be a nice trade for you I don't I, I guess I don't hate that right now you're just taking a lot of you're going from uh, maybe we'll see quarterback to a yes quarterback to a guy who is 
in a second year with him and making leaps and bounds. You might have to deal with a suspension for Rice, um, but I don't I don't hate that at all. We'll take it. Pittman or Tank Dell? Oh, that's a good one. That's what a tough you, one. Dell, you got to buy Dell right now. He's going to be on the buy low show for sure. I don't want to buy Dell with Pittman though. Yeah. Because mm. that seems like a downgrade, but so I think in a year or two, though, yeah, you know, we're playing Dynasty. What do you th- what do you got there? I don't know. That's a tough one. I haven't made it. I don't I don't know. We'll skip that one. Maybe on the way out, we'll exit that one. Flowers, Jordan Mason for Kelsey and Pittman. Maybe we'll follow up on the buy low show with Tank Dell. Mm. There we go. Say, say that again. Flowers and Jordan Mason for Kelsey and Pittman. Feels flowers. like feels like I want the Flowers Mason side. Yeah. Obviously, the Mason side could go away. Kelsey probably going to be helpful this year you know but 34 35 yeah yeah uh, give me the flowers I don't, I don't know if we'll get there with flowers tonight we were he was on the list to potentially get to but i think you got to buy flowers all right you, you can't buy him right now you gotta you gotta hold if, if he was the buy sell if, and buy sell hold he he's for sure a hold yeah i'm not selling yeah i mean you got to be loving zay flowers right now i i just I'm, I'm not selling i'm buying if i have an opportunity if if you know a big coat is not a big flowers guy so if he's like hey i'm looking to capitalize on flowers you know i don't have the price point right now but i you know i kick, kick some stuff around and see what's up um, 14th in market share and in, in, in target share 26.7 so solid and i just don't really see that going anywhere we've talked about it on the last show just the ad-libbing uh value with him and lamar i think they're a good pair together you know this Perfect. is their their second year together and it's you know you saw from week one to week two them have to be able to play a little bit different style of football than they were playing you saw a little bit some some zay downfield a little bit more zay was able to get away from the line of scrimmage a little more but that he's going to be used that way as well because why wouldn't he be um and i'm okay with that i'm okay with zay's a dot being a little lower than some that than people are excited about uh but but you know getting a, a, a solid target share year over year a guy who could take any play uh the distance and then he can get over top of you too it's not like he can't get you deep he can yeah uh, especially if you're gonna throw in some ad lib and buy in time Dog. like yeah he's gonna catch I you all one move and then bang right back across the field he's so dirty after the with, catch yeah for those on the podcast that couldn't see the video when he started talking about the low a dot i, I did a little um a little massage gesture and threw up the drink sign yeah. on the screen like a little Sean I Payton. Don't a little Sean Payton. Care. <laughs> don't care about your A dot. I never did. You know? That was why Jarvis Landry wasn't any good. Like, well, yeah. I'll just take 15 PBR points every every week. Yeah. That's what I'll do. Say flowers. And Zay's got fine, a higher but... ceiling than Jarvis Landry. So Yeah. Oh, love 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 the flowers though. So buying and holding Give me my flowers. Uh, on the side of flowers. So all right, we appreciate you guys. Be sure to go check out us on the uh, on the Patreon side of things. You get an extra episode. We're doing every week right now, doing doing Sunday nights. You can mm. join us live, ask questions. We just review kind of for an hour what went on that day, uh, talk about some football, talk about some fantasy stuff, field some questions. Uh, so go check that out. You can get on the Discord as well. Uh, we'll be updating rankings every four-ish weeks over there, so you'll have those available uh you know adp will probably be a little stale for a minute but we'll, we'll use yeah, it we'll, we'll do some other stuff we'll, we'll, we might hit a draft see we'll see where we yeah went wrong oh for sure everything's changed uh if you're doing anything on on the underdogs go put in your boys promo code ffd at checkout get yourself uh, a little bonus match there a lot of fun stuff with the pickums we'll, we'll we'll do some pickum stuff here big co is out of town this week he's going to be my pick em, selfish my pick em partner uh, so, but I haven't, I've, I've, I've put together a few came, came close, didn't win, haven't won any yet. So still figuring it out though. Still figuring it out, but it's a lot of fun. I don't know how much time we're going to yeah, have. It's a lot of fun and you can draft best ball still over there. There's a bunch of different tournaments. You can kind of play it like DFS. Um, and, and you know, a lot, lot of good stuff over on the underdog. So make sure you go check that if you, if you aren't already hit that um, five star review on the podcast for sure, for sure. And we will mad catch- views, mad downloads, not as many five star reviews what do you do Help spotify us out. itunes just just mm. click the button yeah if you're on if you're listening below hit us with the comments tell us what you like what you didn't like uh what you what you want us to talk about here moving forward we're in season we'll be doing a bunch of different stuff what, what would you guys like to hear uh kind of moving forward let us know down there uh be sure to keep it locked and loaded we got buy lows make moves to make for your pleasure we're gonna be talking rookies me and austin or uh college guys me and austin did that last week we're going to be trying to do that every week or every other week lots of good stuff coming your way be tons of rookie talk 
Uh, Mock City. All right, I'm out of here. See you later. Peace. <laughs>